Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel, Divine Mix. If you haven't been here before, welcome and everybody please feel free to subscribe down below. I absolutely love seeing you guys come back, love seeing new faces and love hearing your comments. Now, I decided that I'm going to keep this look very, very simple because Honestly, I just really don't want to do my hair in its natural curls. So I have my hair up in this. This is not going to be a scarf look today. Honestly, I just pin curled my hair for the night. So I could even show you that. I haven't taken it out yet. Um, but we're doing that. Here. So as you can see, it's all kind of, all my pin curls are kind of just laid out flat. Some of them aren't the best. I personally haven't pin curled my hair since it was really, really short. And when I say really short, I mean this is how far it went when I cut it. So it was just like a nice, cute little round circle. But I am going to do, try to do an alluring eye makeup so really something that just catches your attention catches your gaze i know right now we are in the midst of like excess if, because you know thanksgiving christmas black friday everything but personally for me i'm not really trying to do any shopping for the black friday holidays and things like that um if you know, you know. If you don't, there's a lot of information out there for you to search that up. But for right now, while my hair is still in this little pin curl, let's go ahead and let's get everything together. So first thing I'm gonna do is, I actually, first thing I'm gonna do is grab my facial oil, which I left, so let me just go and grab that real quick. All right, I'm back, sorry about that. So I still have my same facial oil that I've been using. I use it morning and night. I'm just gonna take off my jewelry real quick. Um, and it lasts me. Like this, this bottle is small. I think this is equivalent. This is less than eight ounces, I believe, or eight fluid ounces, but it's really, really small. And it, um, it lasts me a really long time, so. Back with this. I'm personally like one of those people that fully believes the more moisturized and well taken care of your skin is, then the better your, um, your whole makeup routine is going to be. Um, but yeah, usually on here I talk about shows, movies, things like that. I actually, I'm gonna go for my tart. I actually, um, what it, have been watching that new Squid Games, The Challenge. And at first I was just like, you know, the whole point of Squid Games is that it's showing you that the elite are kind of just using people as kind of guinea pigs for their fun. It's pretty much the Roman Colosseum and the elite just get to bet while other, people's play, other people play games. But in this Squid Games, the challenge, it's a bunch of people and they're trying to win, I believe. The winner gets 4.5 million dollars. So that's that's a lot. I think that's the biggest prize that I've ever seen any game show have, I think. 
maybe the challenge on MTV. Um, I think it's also on CBS now with the USA ones and international. I think the highest they've ever gone is like a million. But this one is 4.5 million. It's a lot of money. They have over 400 players, I believe, around 456. And everybody's competing. And as for the elite aspect of it, I'm kind of wondering if on the side or even in like a, a fantasy football league, they, um, oh yeah, and this was my Tarte Amazonian clay look. Um, it's a BB tinted moisturizer, so it's not actually a heavy foundation. It's very, very light, which is good because where I'm at, it's really hot, so you sweat a lot. And one thing I like about this is that it also has sunscreen in it. So that's one thing I've been using a lot more is sunscreen. I usually walk around with my sunscreen stick, and I've actually been seeing more and more people just walking around with the stick and throughout the day putting that on. Okay, so I have that. I think you can't really tell here, but I could see it is that my, I have a bit of darkness under here. So I'm gonna go in with the, <laughs> the, okay, LA Girl Pro Conceal right here. And I'm just gonna go and do just a little smidge of color corrector. These things, these LA Girl concealers, they have color correctors, they have different concealers. They are some of the best and lowest price concealers I've ever, ever been around, let alone had the pleasure of using. This thing is amazing. I think this one's almost done. Okay. I'm just applying it right where I personally see the darkness and the, the, found the primer BB tinted moisturizer did not put. Okay, but yeah. Um, I do wonder if, if it does get a second season or even um, even if it's still going on, if they have like off track betting so we can feel like the elites while these people play and just say, hey, choose your champion. Kind of pretty much like Gladiator. But the first couple portions of the show, the first two, I believe the first two challenges were obviously that red light, green light, game which lost so many people and then the second one was that same uh that candy game where you have to peel out your shape so it was a huge thing and that one this is going to be a little bit of spoilers but that one was a bit interesting to me because the first people, not everybody just went up and picked their own shape because obviously everybody knows the game, they're not gonna go for umbrella. But they made four lines and the leaders of the line, the people in the front, had to go into a room and negotiate for the shapes. And the people on their line would have to go with their shapes and things like that. So obviously nobody wanted umbrella. Everybody was like, hey, we chose you and whoever was left out, you just have to take that. So people didn't want to take that. And for two rounds, because they had a two minute time limit and they failed to succeed in that, they ended up, the people, the, the leaders of their line, they ended up being eliminated just because they failed to, to choose. And the second time around I was like, okay, this person is gonna just go for it because they don't wanna be eliminated, but everybody was willing to be eliminated. And then the most empathetic person, he ended up, that was the third group of leaders, he ended up just taking it. Um, of course, he took it thinking people could help him, but obviously you can't help in this type of game. 
So he took it and what was I gonna do next? What was I gonna do next? Okay, I'm just gonna take this NARS bronzer because I, I just want to add a little bit of warmth to my eyes since that's where the focus is gonna be. Um, but yeah, he takes it and his whole team is kind of upset at him um, because they didn't want it. And for me, I didn't understand why. I understood why they were upset at him, but I also couldn't be upset at him because it was either he takes that or he gets eliminated. And you know, he's fighting for his own reasons. He wants to win for his own reasons. Um, so everybody else being upset, yeah, they're upset because it's more likely they'll be eliminated. But at the same time, you can't be upset at that person because you're pretty much telling him, no, eliminate yourself until I get what I want. And that's not fair. Um, but yeah, he picked it. And OK, so that's, that's just like a little bit warmer. Just a little bit. I don't know if I should put more because when you put on makeup for the camera, you, you go a bit heavier than what you would normally do. So just so that way it'll show. Okay, I'm just doing one more. And of course I'm using my Eco Tools. But yeah, so his team, they're upset at him for even getting that. And I'm just over here like, the guy shouldn't have gotten eliminated for you guys. And if it was you guys in that position, would you really be so comfortable with losing, with, with losing the entire game um, without even being given a chance? So there was that. And... We're gonna go shiny, 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 shiny. I'm either gonna use, I think, yeah, I think I'll go with this. So I'm gonna take my, this is actually a highlighter kit, the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter kit. I'm gonna go with Tourmaline, and then I'm gonna go with Moonstone, just to add a bit of shade and depth. Um, so, I'm grabbing my eyeshadow brush from Fenty, and I'm actually, because I really want this part to be fluffed out, so I'm just going to go to Tourmaline, and I'm just going to kind of. I don't think it's even showing up really. Well, okay, there's a bit of shine, but it's not as dark as I would like, so I'm just gonna match it on the other side and then I'll mix it with another color. But yeah, so what is it? They they come, yeah, they, they play the game. Of course, People with Umbrella has the most amount of losses and they, they're pretty much down to half the group at that time. I do want to add that one thing they did different from the actual show that is based off of was that I'm going to go in with Cayenne just to darken this up. Um, one thing they did differently from the show is very early on, they gave, they told people they're gonna give them tests and in those elimination tests, they could eliminate somebody. So two people got it and they had to make the decision themselves and they decided to eliminate a person, which I personally thought was a little bit unfair. Um, I, I would understand if like they're the last people and then if they're the last people you could go, these three are the last people that um, made it 
in the challenge. If you want, you could eliminate one of them. That I understand, but just to eliminate anyone, I understand it's the nature of the game. But I feel like it doesn't give a, a person a chance to defend themselves. Everybody can be eliminated at any point, and that's not even bothering to use their intellect, not even bothering to use their physicality. It's literally just luck, which of course makes the game a bit harder, but it's one aspect that I wish um, had a bit more rules and, and like more reasoning to it instead of suddenly announcing, hey, this person can be eliminated. Um, so yeah, um, the first two games are are essentially that and then from there I'm actually going to take my Fenty Beauty um, Kilowatt and Afternoon Snack and Mo Honey. I think this is my favorite eyeshadow highlighter whatever combo because it just comes off so naturally to me and the non shiny side or not as shiny not as glittery pearlescent it is it just comes out with such a beautiful shine to me. So I'm just gonna grab my other Eco Tools brush. This one is a bit more, actually I don't want this one. <laughs> I'm gonna grab, do I not, okay. I'm gonna grab my eyeshadow brush again and I'm just gonna go into Afternoon Snack. I'm just gonna go right there. Um, but yeah, so they're up to their third game and nobody's trying to secretly break out or find out what's going on. Nobody, everybody's literally just there to play the game. They're all volunteers. Um, but yeah, they, they go to play the third game and it's kind of set up where it's like tug of war. So everybody's thinking, oh, we're gonna do tug of war. This is gonna be great. And the, of course, the strongest guys, the bros, they are already on the same team and they all pile up together their team number one it's pretty much all guys and maybe like two girls and with the all guys two girls combo everybody's just looking at them like damn i hope we don't go up against them because this is for sure uh, this is for sure tug of war so they go in and it turns out it's not tug of war it's battleship and I thought that battleship game was dope um, it's hard so so what it is with the battleship game is okay I'm going in with my perversion um, from urban decay so what's hard with the battleship game is that you only have two people, a captain and a lieutenant, they're allowed to pick and choose, but everybody else kind of stays quiet and they're in their boats. And then if their boat is picked um, or their, their coordinate is picked, then obviously they're eliminated if the whole boat sinks. So for instance, let's say you have a two person boat, they get yours, but they don't get the other person, then you're still alive if your team wins the game. So that's, that's one aspect, but I just found the overall game for it really, really good. I need a better light. Hold on. I always have the hardest time doing my upper eyeliner. Okay, I think I got it. Uh, or maybe not. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. Kind of, kind of. Um, sorry, guys. 
I'm just trying to wing it out a little bit to add like a little bit of curve. Ooh, that's nice. Um, one's not as nice. Okay, now that's kind of nice. Just a little bit. I think this one I have to... One thing I've been doing more with my eyeliner is instead of like lifting it up, I kind of just follow the bottom lash, not the top. So that way it stays. But add that, I'll do like the inner corner as well. But yeah, so they, all they have to do with the battleship game, which was, which honestly looked really, really fun, was to just destroy two out of four ships. So, so as long as you get two, even if it's like the two biggest or the two smallest, then you are safe. And your team who hasn't been sunken wins. So from here, I'm actually gonna go into my ColourPop gel eyeliners. And then I'm just gonna grab, okay, that's not the right one. I thought that was my white. Okay, found it, found it. So this is my ColourPop cream gel liner in white. And I'm just gonna go in this area right here where I didn't put anything. I'm just gonna put a little bit. And hi, Vemish. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. I hope you're doing well. Um, so I'm gonna go right here in the middle on both sides. And so there you go, it kind of brings attention directly to my eyes, all the focus is there. I think this is pretty good, because look at the, look at that. Thank you for coming to my channel, Vamish. Um, I'm so excited to have you. And like I said, I hope you're doing good, hope your day is going well, welcome. So from here, since I have my eyes for the most part done, I'm just gonna grab my eyelash curler and my mascara. This is a Too Real Benefit Mascara. I'm literally trying to finish this before I use any other one. And hi, Fabric86. Hi, hello. Uh, how are you? Oh, this is the most chats I've had. This is exciting. <laughs> so I'm just gonna curl this up. And I'm gonna curl up the other one. If you guys have anything you wanna talk about, feel free to say it. I'm all ears and I'm willing to talk. Uh, so now I'm going in with my mascara. And we're just gonna wiggle as we go up. And one thing I really, really like about the mascaras that are like this with the hard tip is I feel like it really spreads and lifts your lashes up very, very nicely. So I'm gonna go here in the corner, I'm gonna go on the bottom.
Um, so for new hairstyles for school, I believe I have um, my last my last live i had a cute hairstyle for school that worked i also did a rubber band hair tutorial that i think goes well for any age in school you could dress it up add some color if you'd like that would work as well but i'll definitely look into making more videos for um hairstyles for school so i'll keep that in mind for you bemish and is this my get ready with me for Thanksgiving? It can be, it does have the browns, um, but this is kind of just a simple alluring everyday makeup. I saw this picture of a girl and I just really liked how soft her makeup was, but how everything focused to her eyes. So I'm trying to emulate that. I hope it comes out well. Um, but also wishing everybody that's in the States Happy Thanksgiving in advance. I hope you guys have a really, really good one. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think is tomorrow should be Thanksgiving. It's the 24th usually. So I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving no matter what. And whoever you're with, just be thankful and enjoy the time with them. We never know how long anybody's going to be around. So it's better to have laugh lines instead of frown lines. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, from here, just to add a little bit of blush to my face, I, well, actually, before I even do that, I'm just going to contour and highlight a little bit with my Fenty Beauty Stick. This is in Mocha, and I'm just going to go around. It's not going to be much. And if you guys have any unique Thanksgiving Day plans, I would love to hear about it. I saw this one family, I think it was on TikTok, and he said, their whole family comes together on Thanksgiving or for Christmas holidays, and they all wear like Pokemon onesies. And I thought that was so cool. This hairstyle, Vamish, I haven't done my hair. This is. This is all in pin curls. I had it up last night. I'm gonna take it out at the end. So I'm just finishing up my makeup real quick. But this is pin curls because I did not want to really do my hair. So overnight, I just pin curled it and wrapped it. So that way when I take it out, it's gonna be in like soft looking curls, which I hope, I hope that works out. <laughs> Um, and now I'm going to just take my bamboo and I'm going to go back in where I had my nose, a little bit up here, a little bit here, just to brighten that up. And also just a slight bit right there. Oh, my last stream. Ah, oh, I'm happy you saw that. Um... To, to make that hairstyle simple, so I'll explain to everybody, I had braids in the front and then curls in the back. I actually am going to film a stream to show both that braided version and then the one with a rubber band to make it a little bit easier. But I would say with that, it's pretty much just a half up, half down hairstyle. And then the front part, you get to just play around with. You could part it however you want. If you want braids or if you can't do braids, you could do twist or even rubber bands. Like I said, I'll do a video on this just because you asked. Um, but everything in the bottom half is loose and funny. So even with that one, if you part your hair in half, the top half, you could put two pigtails if that's all you could do. You could put it in one big ponytail or things like that. But I'll definitely, definitely, try to show you. Um, simple bun and ponytail. Um, yeah, I think I have some half up, half down hairstyles videos out, but a simple bun and ponytail, uh, my best recommendation is just a high bun. And with ponytails, you could just pull it back. Um, and then if you want like the Barbie look with the ponytail, you pull your hair back into a ponytail and then you take a little strand 
and you wrap that around the scrunchie and leave the rest out or even in a braid, it's gonna, it's gonna come together very, very nice. And hi, Becca's Garden. Thank you so much, love you too. Appreciate you coming out. Um, and now I'm just gonna go into my Fade Into Hue palette. I've been using this for blush for the past couple weeks. So I think I'm gonna go into Love and Warhol. It's a little bit of shine to it, but it's rich and pigmented. I'm just gonna bring it up because I want the attention to be kind of towards my eyes. So I'm gonna just bring everything up. That way there is some attention to it. And then this I'll do like right on top on the bridge. And now from here, I'm just, you already tried the Barbie hairstyle. Um, well, Vamish, I can definitely look into doing a ponytail hairstyle for you. Maybe the next live I do, which will be next. Let me see, maybe, maybe the next live I do, I could do a tutorial for you for a different type of bun and ponytail hairstyle, but I'll also look into that as well as making some other videos so that way you have some more options as well, okay? Mm, I could do a pigtail routine for you as well. So just be on the lookout for that, okay? Gonna go here. Go here. Just gonna bring a little bit more so that way there's a bit extra blush. Okay. So and just like that. So now that I have this part done, I'm just gonna go in lightly with lips. This is actually just a basic, um, those 99 cent store uh, lip pencil. It's by Jordana. So sometimes I find like shopping at the discount stores they tend to have some good stuff not all the time but sometimes they tend to have some good stuff like for instance my la girl pro concealer does come from like places like walgreens or 99 cent stores you can always find those so i'm just gonna go and i'm gonna outline bottom it kind of matches my lip tone but my top lip and my bottom lip aren't always the same color so that and then from there just because I want this to be like a little bit matte and nude I can't even open this I'm just gonna take two of my Fenty Beauty lipsticks I have unbuttoned and uncuffed so I'm gonna outline with this and then I'm gonna do this on the inside spread that around and then I'm just gonna grab my unbuttoned and put a little bit lightly in the center and just spread that around a bit okay now I'm just gonna wait for that to dry and while that is drying because I just want this makeup to be a little matte, I'm not really gonna put on any highlighter. But while that's drying, I'm gonna finally take out my pin curls and see how my hair came out. There you go. Alright. 
The hard part I have with pin curls is that sometimes if I do my hair too late or I put too much um, hairspray in it, not hairspray, if I spray it too much with water, it ends up not being fully dry by the morning or if I use like an oil or, or cream, sometimes it won't be as soft or as dry. So right now, how I'm feeling my hair, it doesn't feel completely dry. I know that it is, but I think I had too much oils in my hair when I was doing it. When my hair was shorter, it was a bit easier to do pin curls and my hair would just be this fluffy halo, which I loved. I absolutely, absolutely loved. So right here, just gonna take this off. So as you can see, my curls, they're kind of coming out really nice. They're all in clumps. I'm gonna separate that a bit later. And see, I have one more hidden back there. Thank you, thank you so much. Almost done. There we go. I'm just checking to see that I have everything and I'm just gonna take my hair pick and kind of fluff out and break up some of these. I'm not gonna break up the curls just yet because my hands don't have any oils in them and if I, I break it out without oil, it's gonna be a mess. Here. Um, I don't use any face razors, so I'm not sure what you're asking. And so here we are, and last thing I'm gonna do, I'm sorry if you guys hear a lot of noise outside, it's just a bit of a busy day today. But I'm just gonna take a little bit of my oil, just gonna slowly break up some of these clumps so that way it can be a bit nice and fluffy. And I wish I had learned about the putting oil in my hair just to break it up before because it really helps with keeping my hair from not going as frizzy. So I'm just gonna fluff it out one more time. Last flip, shake. And I think that's it. <laughs> so this is how I did an alluring eye makeup look. And in the beginning of this, I was talking about that new show, Squid Games, The Challenge, which is on Netflix. Um, and just my takes on it. And then I went into doing a really 
eye focused makeup routine and I did pin curls for my hair which helps a little bit to keep it fluffier. My recommendation with the pin curl is do not oversaturate your hair with water. If you can, try to avoid oils. It's going to help so that way when it's fully dry, it's going to be that nice, nice, fluffy curl dry. Um, and then also, if you are going to break up the clumps, just make sure you have a little bit of hair oil on your hands. It's going to help to keep your hair from getting really, really frizzy. I do want to thank everybody who came into this chat. Um, I appreciate you and I actually just answered the last question and I'll just say that I personally prefer to epilate. So that is my answer to that. Thank you so much to everybody who came in. So we have Ram, um, Vamshi who came in. Please let me know if I said your name wrong. Um, as well as Fabric86, thank you for coming in, and Becca's Garden, we always, oh, I always, always appreciate all of you, so thank you so much. If you have any recommendations, comments, or any suggestions, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, thank you so much, and bye.